Universal announced yesterday that their shared universe of monster movies will officially go under the new heading Dark Universe. Led by the core creative team of Mummy director Alex Kurtzman, Fast and Furious screenwriter Chris Morgan, writer-director Christopher McQuarrie, and Bride of Frankenstein writer David Kep, the announcement also confirmed that Beauty and the Beast helmer Bill Condon is set to direct Bride of Frankenstein, which will be released on February 14, 2019. Universal also confirmed that Johnny Depp is on board to play play the Invisible Man, and Javier Bardem is set to play Frankenstein's mother. Casting for Bride of Frankenstein is underway, with the studio saying an un announcement is coming soon. Mark, thoughts on the new heading of Dark Universe and the newly announced shared universe of monsters? I get to be excited for the future of the Dark Universe, Ashley. I mean, I got a question about that picture. Are they all in the same? Are they all in the same picture together? Does anybody like? like are they actually together, photoshopped? Yeah, but or Mark, is that not, actually them hanging out? Yeah, not to cut you off, but Ashley, I, I, I don't think that uh, Javier Bardem looks just like his mother, but it's close. What? <laughs> <laughs> Frankenstein's, it's monster. Frankenstein's monster. You said Frankenstein's mother. Oh. But Javier <laughs> Bardem, pretty much. Just to be clear, <laughs> what is in that <laughs> cup you're drinking? I want to know what is in that I cup you're drinking. Javier Bardem's mother. <laughs> 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 Uh, sorry, we interrupted I Mark. Cut Mark sorry. I don't care. I'd rather talk about Frankenstein's mom. Mother. Like, what's going on in her mind about all of this situation Black happening spuddle. with that monster kid? I think that when you look at that picture, it, it's like this is one of those things where sometimes you get really nervous when a studio has one movie coming out. They're like, "Don't worry, guys, we got 20 movies in this universe coming out." That's a pretty cool shot. That's, That's a, a pretty cool picture. representation that hey, we have other movies coming out. And we're excited about it. And I'm somebody who, as, as recently as a week ago, was like, "Hey, let's just." make sure the mommy movie is good before we start talking about all these other movies let's start talking about these other movies because this is a great play from the studio to be like hey guys the mummy's coming out go see it because if you go see it you get all this greatness in there i will say that the relationship looks a little frosty between javier bardem and johnny depp because uh they're going against each other this weekend on the high seas john and it looks yes, like they, they didn't are. patch everything up <laughs> What do you think, Perry? Uh, yeah, I'm really hyped about this. I don't know how much I love the name Dark uh, Dark Universe. Is that that's what it's called, right? Yeah. See, but that's exactly the problem. It's like you have these great properties, the Monster Cinematic Universe, and I know that sounds like a mouthful, but Dark Universe almost takes away the familiar element of it. But that's really not a big deal. This picture is a big deal, though. It's really interesting. I definitely don't think this is photoshopped. And I look at this. And obviously, it's an incredible group of people, but I find it fun that Sofia Patella is in it because, I, don't, I mean, I haven't seen The Mummy. I don't know what's going to happen, and this prediction could be proven wrong in a couple weeks, but maybe she will continue on with the franchise. I certainly wouldn't mind her seeing being part of this group here, but... The more I see from The Mummy, the more I'm hoping it's not one of those situations where they set all these films and then the first one fails and you're like, uh-oh, now what do we do? I went to that event on Saturday. You could see more from that on behind the scenes where they unveiled that 75-foot sarcophagus in Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> but one of the cooler things about that, which got me really hyped for the movie, because the things that are getting me more and more excited is every time I see a featurette, those sci-fi featurettes I think have been great. And one of the things we did at that event was it was a zero-G VR experience. But rather than making you feel like you're just zero-G and you know just some gimmicky thing where it's mimicking the plane crash, it played more like a featurette. And just seeing that whole, it, it had a very like really uh, high morale, like team spirit while they were all on that plane together trying to accomplish that incredible stunt. Something about that I found between the seat moving and just seeing a featurette and seeing what it took to make that scene, I found it really immersive, really exciting. I'm excited about this team. I mean, how do you not get excited about the actual picture? I mean, those are those are all stars, and and someone like, and I'm a big Sofia Batella fan. I think she is an up and coming superstar. I really do. I think that she was so good in Star Trek. She was great in Kingsman. I can't wait to see what she's going to do in the Mummy. But I actually do go back to your original point, Mark. I do think that we should hold hold on for a second. Let's see how the Mummy is because you're releasing. I would release this picture after the mummy came out. Are you could. trying to make money with the mummy to get people like like if I, you want I understand to, that. Like I, this I, is a promotional tool for the mummy. Don't I make any mistakes. I understand about that, that, but it but it means crap if the movie sucks because you can get get people into the theater for the first even if it does well and the, if the movie stinks 
it doesn't matter what kind of pictures you have. It's it the eventual that's Frankenstein's mom in there. Well, yeah, that's true. It is. <laughs> they it is also could be trying to capitalize off of pirates. Like if people are going to see pirates this week, and googling I, I totally Johnny Depp and I Javier Bardem. I understand. I understand why they released it as far as marketing goes. But I mean, they also must have tremendous confidence in the Mummy because this is a big investment. This is a big thing to say. Hey, look at everyone we have involved here. Get excited. It is absolutely to get people in the theater for the Mummy. It's absolutely to capitalize on the fact that pirates is coming out. But I also just think it could be a risk. And I come back afterwards. If I see The Mummy and it's a great film, great move, smart move, because they knew what they had. Um, I just, I'm always weary of people saying, we're going to have this and this and this before the first one hits. And I think we're going to have another one of those stories coming up soon. Look, the risk part here is the franchise. Right. Doing the franchise is the risk. Putting out this picture now is not the risk. I mean, yeah. put it, I mean like you, you are trying to kick this franchise off with a bang. You want to, and apparently it looks like at any rate that Universal has some confidence in this thing, which is always what you want to project. Maybe that doesn't mean anything, but you want to project confidence. They're doing that, putting out a picture like this to remind you. This is Universal reminding everybody, hey guys, we're not just tinkering here. We are all in on this. Universal is basically saying to the audience by putting out a picture like this, we are deadly serious about making this work, making it as great as we can be, and we're putting every effort into it to get the top talent, to get the top people in this, the best filmmakers, the best on-camera talent that we can, and we are all in. We hope you will come and join us and give this franchise a chance. Now, like going to your point though, all this is for nothing if the movie stinks, right. for sure. But I, I don't know. I'm starting to get I said this before, when I first heard they were You're launching this universe, of it. I didn't like it at first, yeah. but every piece I see them adding, it's really more the fact that I see them dedicated to this. I am believing in it more and more, and I'm actually really excited to see this movie. So we'll see how that all turns out.